Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the thumbstick fidget, sometimes called the joystick fidget in Scratch. So here we can see we have a Scratch project that is using it. As I move the thumbstick, the sprite is moving. And then we can also, we're going to take a look at the button functionality. So as I push the thumbstick, I'm changing the sprite. To start, I'm going to go to fidgets.com slash education. And that's going to bring me to this home page here. And then I'm going to go to the scratch icon up here, and that will take me to fidgets.com slash education slash scratch. So this uh, will give you some basic information about how to use scratch. And there's also some starter projects below. So for now, I'm just going to open the scratch editor, which will take me to fidgets.com slash scratch. And then from here, I can actually start coding and start using the thumbstick. So my goal is to recreate that project that we just saw. So we're going to have the sprite moved up, down, left, right using the thumbstick. And we'll also um, use, the, use the button functionality of the thumbstick. And then before we get started, I'm just going to quickly show you what's on my desk. So here I have the Vintub fidget. Um, so this is normally on the back of your getting started kit. Uh, I've, taken, I've taken it off for this here, but uh, that's the hub fidget. And then here I have a thumbstick fidget and I also have a cable that's connecting the two. And then I have my USB cable that's connecting to my computer. When you get to the scratch page, if, if it's your first time here, you will see this button that says uh, connect device. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and click on that and it will bring up this pop-up here that says fidgets.com wants to connect. So this is how we actually pair our VidTub to our computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna click connect. And then we'll see this button here changes to say device connected. So that when you go to the page for the first time, you can just take a look at that and make sure that you're connected. And if you're not, you can connect. Um, so after you've done that, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the Fidgets Education extension. So there's an extension button right down here in the corner. Um, and if we click on that, we can see we get a bunch of different extensions. And I'm gonna click on this one here so we can actually add the fidget blocks to our Scratch project. So now that I have the fidget blocks, um, my goal is to start controlling this sprite based on the input to the thumbstick. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create an event here. So basically when the green button is pressed or the green flag is pressed, sorry, uh, this will, the code that we're about to write will execute. So what I'm going to do from there is I will grab a forever loop. So basically what I want to do is I want to have a program that keeps um, taking a look at the values from the thumbstick and then moves the sprite. So I'm going to use a forever loop. Uh, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my, my fidget blocks. So here's my fidget blocks and um, the thumbstick is going to be under input. So I'm going to look here. I have three kind of options. I have a pressed, I have two pressed kind of blocks here. And I have one that is um, saying up, down, left or right. So essentially, this is an event, so anytime the thumbstick is pushed, like pushed down, any, any code that is underneath this will execute. This is something that you can use in an if statement or, or something similar to that. So basically this is going to be true or false, and you can put it in an if statement. So I could do something like, if the thumbstick is pressed, do something. Um, but I, I'm not going to do that for now, because what I want to do is I want to move the sprite depending on if the thumbstick is up, down, left, or right. So I'm going to take this one here and then I'm going to use the if statement and I'm going to say if the thumbstick, um, so thumbstick on port zero. So right now my port, it's going to be hard to see in the video, but it is connected to port zero there. So it could be zero, one, two, three, four, five, um, as we can see here, but mine's on zero. So if thumbstick on port zero is up, then I want to move my sprite up. So I can basically change, in order to do that, I can change the position, his Y position. Um, so I can go set, I can go change Y, sorry. So let's see where our change Y block is. So change X, change Y. So basically if it is up, I can change Y by 10. So basically that'll give us the effect of him kind of going up and up and up. Um, and then what I can do here is I can just run this to test it. So I have my thumbstick. If I push up, we can see the sprite moves up, but then you can see if I go down, left or right, nothing's happening because I haven't coded anything else yet. So I'm gonna stop this and then I'm gonna recreate this, but for down. So I can just right click on the if statement, duplicate, 
and then put it right below there. And I can basically say, if the thumbstick is down, then we can change Y. So we wanna go downwards, so we're gonna say negative 10. So now if we say negative 10, the sprite will go down basically. So again, if we rerun this, we now have the effect of the sprite going up and then we can go down when we're, when we're going down. So basically now we just wanna recreate these steps for left and right. So I'm gonna duplicate both of those blocks again. And then now we don't wanna change Y anymore because Y is just up and down or vertical. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change X. So we're gonna say change X by 10 and then we're gonna change X by negative 10. And then basically now we have this, this project that uh, if, if the thumbstick's up, Y is changing up. If it's down, it's going down. And then same with, with, with the horizontal. So if we run this now, we should have the full range of motion. So up, down, left and right. So I can see I'll hold it straight here. So left and right. So then we can see left and right, and then we see up and down. And then if I do end up in a horizontal or, or in, a, uh, in, in, in a diagonal kind of position here, we can see that the code picks up on that and it will move it around pretty well. So that is the basic sprite movement with, with up, down, left, and right. And then one thing that we can do here is we can, actually, we don't wanna get rid of that, so we'll take that back. But uh, we can take a look at the other option for the thumbstick. So if we go back up here, we had a thumbstick event and we also had the thumbstick uh, pressed. So basically, you're generally gonna wanna use the event, um, but sometimes sometimes th this might, might be useful for you. But today we're gonna take a look at the event. And uh, what we're gonna do is we wanna just, if, if the button's pressed, we just wanna change something. So um, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and change the costume of the sprite. So we'll just go next costume. So essentially anytime the thumbstick on port zero is pressed down, um, the sprite will change costume. So if we, if we run this code again, actually we don't have to press the green flag now because we're not in the green flag event. Uh, we're just in the button pressed event. So I can just press the button here and we can see that every time I press the button, the sprite is changing uh, costumes. So that is um, some basic programming with the thumbstick fidget. If you are interested in the project that we just did, uh, you can go to that start that fidgets with scratch page and scroll down and there is a movement with a thumbstick fidget project. So if we click on this, this is actually the exact project that we just did. Um, it shows you the materials you need, uh, the connection, and also the code that we just that we just wrote. And you can also download the project and you can upload it in Scratch. So if you do download the project, you can go to File, uh, Load, and you can grab that project and it'll, it'll be there for you. But thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you uh, can try this out. And if you do, if you make anything interesting, please share it with us.